Hey everyone, Will from All Electric, and today we're taking a look at the Velotric Discover One. In this video, you're gonna get my complete review after using this e-bike for several weeks. Let's jump right in. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror where it appears no. Now unboxing this e-bike was very similar to the other e-bikes that I have tested, although they did require an additional step if you saw earlier in this little clip, I had to put on the rear kickstand. I mean, really annoying and just a small thing, but definitely something additional that you don't typically have to do. Now the color is beautiful. I actually tested this exact same model several years back. A comfortable bike for most people. And I'll say my wife, she's about five foot six and I'm about six foot one. And both of us felt really comfortable on this bike. The only thing I had to do was adjust the seat up a little bit, but her being five foot six was still just as comfortable as me because of that curved handlebar and where the seat position was relative to the handlebar, both of us were able to find a comfortable position really easily. So if they change anything or they cheaped out on any parts and I, I'm very happy to say that no, they have not. You get these same great hand grips, these beautiful hand grips that are super comfortable. You have your front brake here on the left. You do also get a bell and you have your controls. If you hold the power button, the bike and the display will turn on. So you do have five pedal assist modes that you can cycle through, which I found was really responsive. In addition, I also found the throttle was really responsive. If you hold the plus button, you do have a nice, br very bright LED headlight that will turn on, which is really great that that is integrated with these front fenders and these gum sidewalls, come on. I mean, this thing is beautiful. I mean, just a beautiful e-bike here. You do have a front suspension shock, and this is the Discovery One step through. On the right-hand side, you do have your shifter here, very standard shifter, but again, that throttle is very touchy in terms of you get a lot of power instantly, which is what I like to see. These brakes do work. There is a brake light here on the back when you are pulling the brakes, which is really nice to see to increase that rider safety. Front and rear fenders also come standard. They do have an optional rack that you can purchase, but overall, this is a super e-bike. And again, my opinion about this e-bike hasn't changed. I have reviewed several e-bikes several years apart before where the company did cheap out on the parts, but I love how they still integrate this battery in the same color. It is gorgeous. Now the chain slap guard here, you can see they have some PPF paint pr protection film here. So it is clear. And I would like to see that attention to detail that they put on there and it is doing its job. I'm wiping out some grease right here. I do like how they routed the cables through the bike frame. I mean, just a great overall, this Discover One, even though this is a quote unquote budget e-bike because of its price, I think that they spent the money where it matters and that is definitely showing in the styling here. You do have plastic pedals here, but I'm not too concerned about that. I feel like the crank set when I was using it and when my wife was using it was just fine. Now the seat is extra cushiony. This is a very similar seat, not the same seat that I tested several years back. So they did either upgrade it or uh, change it a little bit, but I didn't notice any negative performance out of the seat at all. The front fork suspension did provide plenty of bumps going on and off curbs and on like a paved path. This is definitely not an off-road bike, but it could handle some light, you know, dirt trails. Now to plug this thing in, it's super simple. You take the provided charger, you pull this little tab out here, which is a really nice design. And then it is a directional charger, which I don't like to see, but at least it's flat on one side. So it was really simple in terms of how to plug it in. Of course, I'm trying to do it with one hand here, so I don't want to push the bike over. And then the charger will turn red and then it'll illuminate green when it is completed charging. Couldn't be easier. I would say it takes about three to four hours to charge up fully. Now, the best thing about an e-bike, if you are a parent, is what you're seeing right here. I love these little tandem bikes, but those little tandem bikes get super heavy, especially when you have a child on there that isn't really helping all that much. My son is pedaling a little bit there, but this e-bike makes it effortless for my wife here. I mean, she can easily pedal. She's still getting some exercise in, but just enjoying the bike ride and instead of sweating or dreading the next hill, 
this e-bike makes it that much easier. Now I do, and my wife said she, she does like the step through frame. It's definitely easier for her to get on and off. So that is a big plus. You can see here with this tandem bike, how it fits almost perfectly over that rear wheel. Um, and we do have some issues with other e-bikes that we have tested with this particular tandem bike where it will not fit. So it's nice to see that, you know, this slightly wider tire um, and the size of the e-bike fit really nice. You can see just how easy it is to go up and around this hill and navigate. This is definitely my wife's favorite e-bike, I will say that, and that is because of the styling, but also the ride. I think for her, it just fits her really well. You can see her riding position is almost perfect in terms of where she is. She's able to sit upright with her elbows ever so slightly bent and the handlebars and everything, just the reach and everything for her fit really nicely. Now, if this color isn't for you, there's plenty of other colors. There's also a high step version, which I did already review. I'll put a card up in the corner, but for 1300 bucks right now, this is 1300 bucks and you can save an extra 200 bucks if you buy two bikes from them. So 1300 bucks, I think you're getting a steal on this e-bike. Me, I love the gum sole tire. I'm really sad to see that they do not have the pictures on their website show just a regular black tire. I think the gum sidewalls definitely add to the, you know, the look of the bike it has nothing to do with the performance strictly look, but you are definitely gonna be hard pressed to find a $1,300 e-bike with these sort of specs. All right, there you have it. That is my full review of this e-bike. If you want to pick up one of these, make sure you click the link down below in the description. It's not going to cost you any more money. It might actually save you some and it helps support this channel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.